Thought I'd do a quick update tonight on these uh, engineer boots, six inch engineer boots from Chippewa. Uh, these are the Pierce in the Cordovan uh, color, um, not Cordovan material, um, just a colorway. So this is traditional sort of calf leather rather than uh, horse leather, which initially I thought they were. Um, these aren't actually boots I've worn myself. So the review will be a little bit shorter. For that, these are actually boots I encouraged my wife to get uh, this time last year. Um, the point I wanted to test was, do heritage um, boots work and perform better than the regular high street brands? And my belief was that they would. Um, the frustration of seeing uh, my wife choose boots which just don't live up to uh, live up to their price tags. Um, okay, they're cheaper than heritage boots, but they just last no time at all. Um, so brands like Rocket Dog, they look nice for a couple of months and they fall apart after six. But what I wanted to see is, did heritage boots work better? And the answer is quite simply, absolutely yes. Um, these have been a massive success over the last year. Um, they're look looking a bit battered tonight. Um, and I'll give them a little bit of care so you can take a proper look at them in a minute um, on a level playing field when they've been sort of spruced up a bit. We've just been out for a walk on Dartmoor and um, to be perfectly fair, this boot was never really designed for that. They've got a sort of very low traction um, sole there. They've got a uh, Vibram sort of V-lug, I think you'd call it sole. Um, and the toes are kicked as we climbed up rocks and all that sort of stuff. So. They need a bit of a spruce up, but apart from that, apart from them needing a little bit of care and attention today, they've performed incredibly well. Um, there's not been any uh, complaint on break-in. Um, my wife's found these comfortable from the get-go. Um, I've found this style of shoe with the with a very sort of um, shallow sole construction to be quite hard on my feet. Sometimes I've put insoles into some of the uh, the blacksmith from Red Wing being one, and I'll be doing a year, one year update on that shortly as well. Um, but she's found these really comfortable. Um, obviously they've got a cork midsole, leather insole, um, which are holding up absolutely fine. And yeah, she's completely converted. Um, these were picked up in the sale last year, so we got these for a really good price, but I think they've certainly got another year in them. The soles are wearing really quite well, a little bit of a wear on the heel there, but still plenty of wear on the uh, on the treads there. Um, so yeah, to answer the question, do heritage boots work better than high street brands? Absolutely yes. My wife's convert, that's really pleasing for me. Um, so we'll get some condition on these, um, smart them up a bit. Uh, I'll be using the uh, the Chamberlain's um, Formula Number One there. Uh, I do occasionally use the Formula Three, I think it is. The um, let's have a look here. Yeah, the waterproofing uh, on some of my boots, but actually, day to day, the the Formula Three is absolutely fine. I've given these a little bit of a knock off with a brush already. Uh, just a quick working over with a soft brush to knock off the the main dirt and going around the uh, the welt with this uh, sort of detail brush. Um, so we'll get some condition on these, um, get them looking a bit smarter. We'll come in with some close-ups and you'll be able to judge for yourselves how these have held up. So as the uh, the conditioner starts to work its way in, and before I give it a sort of final buff off, just coming in for a little bit of a look at the detail and just see how they're actually breaking in and wearing in. Um, starting off from the sole. Always been a very low profile sole, but only minor wear on the forefoot there. A little bit of wear on the heel, as you'd find on my boots as well, um, but holding up really well. Um, the initial stitching uh, is almost 
uh, cosmetic, it just holds it together through the bonding process is my understanding. Um, there's certainly no delamination as these threads get worn through. So many, many miles left on that sole. Not being found to be an uncomfortable sole. Pretty grippy, not great for outdoor uh, walking, sort of off-road, but great day to day. What I found on this type of sole uh, on the uh, Red Wing Blacksmiths is that there can be a little bit of cold transfer. There isn't just that sort of extra padding just to keep your feet warm in the coldest months. But apart from that, I had good experiences with a, a thin profile Vibram sole. It certainly looks sort of smart in a sort of traditional way. The leather welt materials holding up well. I've obviously treated that as I've treated the uppers through the life to maintain these. Toe box is keeping its shape quite nicely. There's a little bit of scuffing there. Hopefully we can buff that out, maybe with a little bit of help of uh, the healing balm from um, Chamberlain's. We'll see how it goes. Leather's got this really nice deep color. No noticeable sort of patina, apart from when it's at drying out and needing a bit of care. A little bit of spread as those are broken in. And I say no grumbles about um, rubbing or blisters or anything like that. So I think that's yielded quite easily. It's not sort of, I think getting the impression these gave the same sort of breaking in experience as some Red Wings do. The heel, a little bit battered, but still holding its shape quite well. Still got the nice branding on there. I think these have been kicked off a few times, but who am I to judge? Um, the ankle broken in nicely, really nice and supple. Footbed, always nice to have a heritage leather footbed, it will shape to your foot. Um, whilst it doesn't sort of provide sort of a springy sort of feel, it does become very comfortable over time. Yeah, I think these have held up really well. And as I say, I think. I've converted my wife to uh, to quality footwear. Whether that's a wise thing or not, I'm not sure, but I kind of feel this is like money well spent. But yeah, looking really good. Well, I've given these the first initial sort of buffing with a bit of microfiber cloth just to bring a little bit of shine back after conditioning. They're looking pretty good. Um, the toes are still looking a little bit scuffed, so I think I will give them a little bit of work with the, uh, the healing balm from Chamberlain's and see if I can bring those um, scuffs out at all or make it look any better than they already do. Um, but yeah, lovely boots. Um, wife's pleased, I'm pleased. Yeah, if, if you're after engineer boots, um, these are a good option. Six inch, um, I think, you know, passable uh, as a lady's boot and certainly uh, for a gentleman as well. Um, yeah, well, I hope that's useful. If you wanted to know how these boots fared and wore in over the last year, then now you know. Um, as I say, I've got an update on my uh, Red Wing Blacksmiths, which were my uh, 2018 sale purchase, um, January sale purchase, so they're, they're coming up shortly. And obviously loads more reviews completely um, in love with heritage footwear. Check out the reviews I've already done. Plenty more to come for this year and uh, lots being planned. It's really just a case of getting on my feet, really, um, to give them a good try out. Um, so if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Obviously heritage footwear, um, denim, everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, that sort of stuff. Uh, recently got into running, cycling, guitar, Check it out, we'll probably share some other common interests. If you find this video useful, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Okay, thank you very much, bye bye.